So guys, welcome back to more Man of Medan. This has been a really good game. It's pretty scary. Uh, we're only kind of getting into the meat of it, it seems like. I know this is probably a shorter game, but the fact that I'm about, I would say, almost two hours of recording into it as I'm recording this intro, and not too much has happened, so I feel like these last little bits are going to be pretty insane. So, you want more of this game quickly, just destroy that like button, and let's get this. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Wait, wait, no! <gasps> Alex! Stop it! Let her go! <laughs> you bastards! Hey. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliz. Flesh sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? No, I'm just gonna say uneasy. No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. Yeah, I wonder where Brad's at, man. Where have I gone? Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Oh boy. Who? who that's like fuck. What the that's fuck? That guy. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. The guy with the top hat, that was the guy, the... I don't know what his name is. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Yo, I'm, this is like crazy now. I don't know what's gonna happen. Seconds. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. Uh, I can sneak around the boat. Oh my god. I don't know, man. R rushing never. I'm gonna say concerned. If you can distract them, I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Traits, hold on. Anxious, guarded, cunning, impatient. Okay. Alright, here we go. All oh, this is just like that prologue part. Go fuck yourself. Tommy, now! <sighs> Wanna grab the knife? Yeah, that thing. Drop it, Buster. He's gonna point the gun at her, I guarantee you. It's amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me in. He's gonna aim it at her. This is not good, guys. What are you doing, you idiot? Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Conrad! 
Come on! We can beat these assholes! This kid's trying to kill me, Orson. Uh... I'll take... <coughs> I had a feeling that was not gonna work. <laughs> I wanted to try it, though. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Hey, we tried, right? The one thing is, I can see where they cut it here and there. Like, if you make a different choice. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. We're all together, at least. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goat? Best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. Just say reassuring. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Flitz has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and. They barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I'm gonna say distraught. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us there up! There I are, so. Put a cork in it. Yo, you don't have much time to react, too. Hola, yeah. You, come with me. <laughs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there be consequences. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Ah, uh, compliance. I gotta be. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. You gotta hit you pretty hard. We should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. Reassuring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Are you okay out here? We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Hey! Move it! 
Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. I'm gonna say optimistic. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big bull. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Oh boy. It begins. I knew something was going to take us back to that ship. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Uh, I'm going to say curious. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. So this is kind of how it all ties together to the prologue. Uh, it's gonna be bad. That guy's advice, I'm not, not really sure how that happens. Apparently, I could have lost characters by now, so I'm glad that I haven't had anything extravagant happen yet. Point, so we gotta get off this boat and I just feel like something bad's gonna happen. Like something bad's gonna happen to a lot of people. I don't feel like any of these guys, besides the guy with a messed up eye. But I could have sworn I saw the curator in his little top hat. 
on the boat at one point this through the window. This whole place is a floating death trap. Oh, there's a floating. Is that feet? Oh my god. Yeah, these hallways are, uh... Oh my god. Oh. I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. I don't want to search every little thing, cuz... You said not all that glistens is gold. Oh god. These look freshly... Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just... Did never get messed with. My hope is to keep everyone that you can keep alive, alive. I don't know. It's gonna be challenging. Oh, what was that? Oh, shit! <laughs> that rat scared the shit out of me, too. <laughs> How's it? Oh. This is like a horror movie starring me. Yeah, the thing is, where where's Brad at? Like, we haven't. Watson, you're in part to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. All right, Olson. This fucking place. An abandoned ship, uh. I'm gonna say they seem spooked. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. I'm gonna say approving. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. Uh... Hot wire it. I'm gonna say curious. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss? I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. Alright, uh, we got the door. I don't want to venture too much. I'm going to explore the salle des machines. Danny, you fous les soutes. Les soutes? T'es sérieux? T'as vu l'endroit? 
ça tombe en ruine, Olson. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que... Fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Va te faire foutre. Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Trop du cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Junior. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Prisonniers On est en prison Charles. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. I feel like somebody's gonna look through the thing with their eye. Il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, cette... cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement les voler, et là on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui Oh, we got some information mort. now. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Vos gueules. Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine, et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. So, when we told you this would be a quick little adventure, was there something in the small print? Okay, so we got some information now about that. Itemized bill for all these, uh, extra I wonder why this was ripped off. Seven hundred and fifty a.m. Extra time, three fifty an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering, I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. What do you think this? Ship all right, was? that's actually a cool way to do it. All right, uh, how's work? I hope the boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want you to keep safe. Okay, hold on, we got- Great. Of all the places I'm gonna die on, a bona fide ghost ship. Get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe. Too. Uh, I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. Miller X. I wonder if Miller X is like a nod to Mr. X and uh, Resident Evil. That would be kind of cool. I doubt it though. I got some glasses here. Hold on. Real, real creepy. I feel like if I had to have a theory, I feel like this is all set up. Um, like that movie, The uh, Cabin in the Woods. I feel like the curator is on the boat somewhere in one of these rooms. We just haven't found him yet. All this was like planned, maybe. I feel like they said nothing, not everything's as it seems. I don't know what the hell that means, but that's just my guess. What's going on? Just living our lives, Conrad. Whatever's left of them. I found a letter, by the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts. I'm gonna say... Skeptical. Yeah, I mean, Homeboy was probably just going a little nuts being away from his girl for so long. Heck, that'd make me start seeing things too. Yeah. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Um, they're probably looking for gold. Oh god. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? Hmm. The way I see it, we got two options. We sneak out or we stay here and fight. Simple as that. Sneaking out is a better option, but... I just don't know how we're going to do it. Okay, well we're not going to do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Alright, yeah, catch you later. Alright. Mm, we've already seen everything else except for mm. this. Oh, this might be... Oh boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's getting real already. Look what I found over here. Come on. Fuck. Give me a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get it off.
Oh, we got too much going on in here. I feel like there's a lot of stuff to investigate or explore. I've already seen most of it. Uh, we've already seen this thing next to her, so I'll... I, you just can't talk to everybody. I think that's the thing. So let me go back and talk to, uh... Talk to him and just see maybe if I can help him. I don't know. It's probably our way out of here, though. If I had to guess. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey. Come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. Uh, I'm gonna say confident. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? We'll chop oh, you there. Yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Uh, let's see. Barricade or distract? Let's barricade first, just in case the distraction doesn't work. Hey, hey. There we go, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. So, I didn't know that was me picking between the two. Whatever. It should be fine, hopefully. Are we safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. No, fuck that. We have to go back for Fliss. I'm the reason she got snagged. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. Shit. You're right. 